in the video lesson where we examined the solution of problem number three of the International Math Olympiad 2014, we used the theorem about the so-called Apollonial circles as a lemma to prove the statement of problem three. We used this lemma without the proof. In this video, I can offer a simple proof of it. If two circles with centers O1 and O2 are orthogonal, meaning that the radius of circle O1 is tangent to circle O2, in this case, if we draw a straight line through center O1 that intersects the second circle at points A and B, then circle O1 is called apollonial to circle O2 with two focal points A and B. The lemma that we used to prove problem 3 states that all the points that lie on the Apollonial circle O1 have equal ratio of distances from that point to two fixed points A and B. First, we'll use the power of the point theorem to write the equality. The length of segment O1t squared that equals r squared where r is the radius of circle O1, equals the length of segment O1b times the length of segment O1a. Since O1t is tangent to circle O2 and the straight line O1ba intersects circle O2 at two points b and a. Then we will apply the law of cosines to calculate the squares of segments PB and PA from two triangles PO1B and PO1A respectively. Note that these two triangles share the same side PO1 whose length is equal to the radius of circle O1 and the same angle PO1A. Now we can substitute O1b times O1a for r squared. Now we can factor the right-hand sides of both equalities and conclude that the ratio PB to PA for any arbitrary point P on the circle O1 equals square root of the ratio of O1b to O1a, which is constant for these two circles and these two given points A and B. The last observation is that for two points P1 and P2, these two triangles degenerate to a straight line segment. But it's clear that the ratio of distances from points A and B is the same for these two points because we can take any two infinite sequences of points on circle O1 that have these two points P1 and P2 as their respective limits. And since each of these sequences has a constant value, the limit has the same constant value. We're done.